following on the Christmas season message that we just heard, this season is around the corner, and Democrats are scrambling very, very hard to deliver on their liberal wish list before the end of the year. And that's not a Christmas list that people or an agenda that people are going to accept very well from what I've heard about the opposition to the trillions of dollars that they're trying to spend. This grab bag of long sought new government programs is a top priority for Washington Democrats. Meanwhile, the bigger concern that I hear around Iowa is rising prices on everything from gas to food to home goods. Americans doing their holiday shopping this year are finding items out of stock and when in stock paying far more for less. Even the Christmas tree is no exception. Christmas tree prices are up 30 percent. Overall, consumer prices were up six and two tenths percent on an annual basis in the month of October, a 31 year high. Economists polled by the Wall Street Journal expect November inflation to shoot up to 6.7. Even some analysis are, analysts are saying that it could be closer to 7 percent. Americans are experiencing the highest inflation in a generation. The last thing they need for Christmas is another Democrat spending boondoggle further fanning, fanning the flames of inflation. They ought to listen to their own Democrat economist, Larry Summers, former Secretary of Treasury in the Clinton administration, Council of Economic Advisors in the Obama administration, warning us in January, again in April, again in August, again in October, I, I saw on television, they're pouring fires on the uh, on, on the fires of inf gasoline, on the fires of inflation. The la Unfortunately, unless our voices of reason within the Democratic Party prevail, that's exactly what they're going to get, more inflation. Democrats say there's nothing to worry about because to quote Treasury Secretary Yellen, their bill is fully paid for. We know that's not true, but even the Washington Post isn't buying Yellen's statement. And they, they said that by awarding Secretary to Pinocchio's for her comment. The reality is Democrats pull every budget trick in the book in an attempt to cloak the reckless tax and spending spree with the illusion of fiscal responsibility. However, even their budget sleight of hands fail to mask the upfront inflationary pressures embedded in that very bill. According to the nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office, CBO as we call it around here, their bill contains hundreds of billions of dollars in deficit spending in each of the first five years. That means that regardless of what Democrats say, their bill will add to inflation pressures now when it matters most. Under honest assumptions, the deficit spending never stops. According to Penn Wharton budget model, their analysis if their spending proposals are permanent as they intend, their plan would increase debt and deficits by more than $2 trillion over 10 years. As a result, by 2050, government debt would be 24% higher, economic growth would be 3% higher, and wages of the middle class would be 1 and 7 tenths percent less than they would otherwise be. Now, they go by the bill, building back better. Sounds to me like all of this is building back worse. 
So I urge my Democrat colleagues to pursue and rethink the approach. Securing a near-term ideological win is not worth the risk of spurring unchecked inflation, sapping the value of America's hard-earned dollars. I yield.